I think at this moment, at this moment, I should not hold you waiting anymore. You already waited for a while. I should take you uh, right in for this uh, presentation proper. Uh, again, this is a very, very, very critical presentation. And I'd like you to take it in good faith. I'm not holding anything back. Good evening, fellow Ambazonians. A few days ago, precisely last Friday, coming out from an, from an interim government a meeting frustrated with the way crucial matters were being manipulated by leadership, I left a note of my resignation in the cabinet forum and exited the forum. The note was leaked out of that forum and it became public knowledge that I was resigning. So yes, I was indeed resigning from the, from the interim government. However, I have now reconsidered that decision, humbled, humbled, very, very humbled indeed, by the thousands of public and private messages, phone calls, and audios you send to me asking me to stay. Your outcries have indeed been very, very overwhelming to me. I never for once thought that what I was doing for this struggle meant so much, so much, and this impactful to so many of you out there. You, especially on ground zero. In the past three days, I refused to pick up hundreds, hundreds of your calls. They were overwhelming. I just couldn't pick them. There were just so many. And I am sorry about that. I promised all of you a few months ago that only a caterpillar will move me from this interim government and from this struggle so long as I know I am doing the right thing. I want to renew that promise to you today. I'm not going anywhere. We will fight and fix whatever is broken and being broken in here from within while prosecuting the war together. No more resignations in my vocabulary. Not until by God's grace we get to Boya. Our coveted trophy for this war the capital of our own country, and Bazonia. But why we pursue Boya? Going forward, certain practices and certain people who are, who are about becoming stumbling blocks to this interim government and the revolution must be called out. And certain things must be fixed and fixed with urgency. Corrupt swindlers and manipulative people within the interim government have to make way. If they are not made to make way, ladies and gentlemen, there will, there will be no money with which to prosecute this revolution. Ladies and gentlemen, your interim government is not corrupt. They are individuals who by virtue of their conduct are corrupt. And I will talk about it a little later. When our President Sisiko first approached me to be a part of this interim government at the Fort Conclave, one thing I promised him was that I wasn't going to be a yes sir man. I promised him we will have to pick our fights, but that all the fighting would have to be inside the kind of fighting that inspires good, accountable, and transparent governance. But I also told him that in spite of the fight, or after we fight in the public, I will defend this interim government with all the might and venom that is within me. We have had so many of such fights in-house, debates and fights, but I have always, always kept to my word 
of defending this interim government. Indeed, I have done it just as if I was all in charge. I have made cabinet pronouncements that I never voted for them because it was, it was teamwork and it was the right thing to do. These pronouncements are always very carefully and vividly articulated as if to suggest Chris Anu is the one making those decisions. I have done so because it is my duty to do it. And so, no matter the heat that comes after it, I'm just fine with it. Today, you hear labels like the interim government is corrupt, the IG embezzles, the IG lacks transparency, the IG lacks accountability, and you can name the rest. Again, let me tell you here now that very few members of your cabinet touch forms. I do not indeed. I have never, and so many others too have never. The one who is corrupt, the one standing on the way of transparency and accountability is the accountant. And by the accountant, I mean the financial secretary of this interim government. Please permit me to leave you in a little, in a little suspense while I connect the dots. Somebody within the interim government is about using connections and fraud with a leadership in jail to avoid accountability and that person is the financial secretary of this interim government. Ever since the leadership in jail started having access to family and friends, they have been inundated with stories upon stories basically fabrications to the effect that if care isn't taken, the leadership in jail may split this interim government and flop this struggle as we know it. The leadership in jail has been programmed to endorse this APNC conference by same dubious elements within the interim government and from South Africa. They are saying to them in jail, that they must endorse the South African originated conference. The conference we hold, paid, the conference we hold, paid delegates will be flown in. A motion will be raised to restructure the interim government and give it a new leader. Then, the new leader will form a cabinet and then keep the same dubious personalities financial secretary and the circle would have started all over again without an accountability and the circle of fraud will just go on and on and Ambazonians will be dying by their numbers on ground zero. Unfortunately, the leadership in jail is falling for it and they are about reaching uninformed decisions from behind bars imposing what this interim government does not want from behind bars. Should they have their way, they will simply impose this suspicious conference on Ambazonians. One of the first acts of the leadership in jail was to declare that the interim government is made up of five arms, whereas the temporary constitution which was adopted by the Restoration Council talks of three. The leadership in jail endorses a clandestine so-called parliament formed out of spite for your interim government. Country coordinators are supposed to be subordinate of the executive branch of government, not some parliament. How do you sit behind bars and endorse a conference Whose initiators and finance and, 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 and financiers? Nobody knows. How do you sit in jail, communicate using pen names, pen names, and yet want the people to believe that your communication is secured? If your communication is secured, unmask your identities before holding meetings behind bars. 
Ladies and gentlemen, as I was about to come live to you, I learned that somebody who is certainly pushing the agenda from behind bars has put out an audio clip in which I am said to be disrespectful to the interim president. I wasn't going to go into the details of what of what transpired in the meeting that in that meeting the audio is referring to but because they thought I was coming out to talk about it and leak the audio to preempt me I will talk a little bit about it so that if you have listened to it or, or when you listen to it the context and perspective are clearly understood in that meeting, since discussions about merging the two conferences met a deadlock, one of the leaders in jail moved a motion that we should just vote for this APNC conference to go on. While the vote was being counted or conducted, I posed a question to our leader, the president, asking what would become of cabinet position which decision was going to be final? Is it Diaz or cabinet? That from Jay or cabinet? As you may have heard from that audio, if it is not edited out, the president responded that henceforth, going forward, because he was talking to the five branches of government which did not exist, that any decision from there was going to be final. I followed up with a, with a question to the president and I asked, are you going to be ruling from behind bars now? Again, you will hear him in the audio responding that even, even Mandela ruled from behind bars. At that juncture, I made it very clear that we will not be taking decisions from behind bars because not everybody not everybody goes to jail and comes out uncorrupted. We all remember the case of Agobala. At this point, the interim, the interim president said I was interrupting him and personally cut me off, cut off my line. But this feud isn't all about a conference. It is also about gain. I mean gain and profit are the dead bodies of Ambazonians. Another point of contention at these meetings has been the plot by the leadership in J to do away with this ABC Amber TV, forcing it to merge with SCBC TV at all costs, in spite of the knowledge that ABC is publicly owned and SCBC is a private business. Now, this is what Ambazonians are not aware of. SCBC is a property of some investors in this interim government, including some leaders in jail. Those who watch SCBC will testify it is the most anti-revolutionary TV out there for Amazonians. People write to us to ask whether SCBC is still supporting the struggle. And I tell them, I don't know. You will recall that this was among the many reasons that uh, for which the IG severe ties with SCBC meet last year. In spite of this, the leadership in J just want a merger, a merger at all costs with SCBC. I told them Ambazonians will not take it that their donations we will use to fund people's businesses and that it was cheaper to run ABC than run SCBC. SCBC satellite B is over $13,000 by the year, more expensive than ABC. And there is no way, no way we can take the people's TV and give it over to SCBC because the entire cabinet except for those who have shares in SCBC, denied the idea. It will surprise you to know that the same finance secretary has refused to pay the bills of, of ABC for two months right now, 
possibly under instruction from J. The idea is that let ABC go under and then we'll just turn away, cut it off, and then go join uh, SCBC. That is the point. So when the bees accumulate, the satellite company will cut it off and then we'll just go and join ABC, their business venture. The finance secretary is already going around telling people how that ABC is about to be cut off. He does not return calls over ABC invoices. Their one argument has been that Ambazonians cannot run to TV stations. They say that they are too expensive. But that is actually not the case. The fact is that SCBC doesn't belong to this interim government nor to Ambazonian. It's a private business and those who own it must pay the bills. If the finance secretary has been paying SCBC bills, then he will need to come out and explain it. How, why, and how and why he is doing so. At the severance of ties between SCBC and, and the IG, SCBC had demanded an operating budget of $18,500 a month. But the money budget of ABC is, all, is, is only $1,300. And yet, that amount has never been paid in full. Knowing this, I ask you ladies and gentlemen, would you allow SCBC to, be, to take over ABC? If so, under what, for what reasons? The coverage of both TVs is exactly the same. Virtually all of Africa. SCBC may be in more homes right now. But let's not forget. Let's not forget. ABC is only three months old. There is no way I will preside, this I will preside over this department and see Ambazonian donations go towards funding private business. That will not happen. But this is the bigger problem that is within the interim government. As you all know, it is the problem of financial or lack of financial accountability and transparency. And it is all due to one person and one person only, the financial secretary. The finance secretary for the entire duration of this interim government has combined the work of treasurer and finance secretary. And for this entire period, he has never, I mean never, ever submitted his records for the required quarterly audits. This interim government cabinet is essentially not aware of how and where money comes in and how and where it is used. For six months, six months, the finance secretary has avoided the auditor until he bowed out and submitted an, an incomplete report. The finance secretary has refused to transfer banking records of accounts of your government to a recently appointed director general of the treasury. He has refused to submit to an inquiry on these delinquencies to the ethics committee of your interim government. Why does he do this with impunity, you may be asking. It is essentially another SCAPAC, SCAPAC fraudulent practice. And it goes on because the acting president tolerates it, but more especially because the leadership in jail will protect the financial secretary. Fellow Ambazonians, our boys on the ground are fighting almost with their bare hands, with them guns that's supposed to have been replaced incrementally. But they have not been replaced because many of you, many of you watching at me now, no longer donate or support the interim government. You have called for accountability and transparency, and no one has listened to you. And the cabinet demanded an audit for the past six months, but the finance secretary has deliberately refused to submit to one. That is where the problem is. Now, 
They are backing this dubious conference so that nobody, nobody will audit them and they will just move ahead and start the swindling all over again. This is what I refuse to stand for. I refuse to stand for manipulation and others from Jay. Every advice from Jay to cabinet is highly valued. But telling us that decisions will start coming down from an unconstituted five arms of government that doesn't exist through Jay will be unacceptable. And this is the other war that I am prepared to fight. And Bazuria must confess not personal interests, not personal investments. And let me end with this, so that I'm not misunderstood by any means. President Sisiku Ayuktabe remains not just the face of this revolution, as people say, but equally the uncontestable president of this interim government. The day he comes out of confinement, he should expect to be handed over on day one, handed over control of, this, of his government. And anyone, I mean anyone, who tries to hold it from him for a minute, I promise to fight that person. But until then, until that day, my advice to our president is to take care of himself and relax. Let us continue to do with his, to work with his advice. We have already done it for one year while he was away. I believe Sisiku shall be proud when he finally comes out to see what this cabinet has done in his stead. But before I go, I have one appeal, one appeal to make to you, fellow uh, Ambazonians. If you appreciate what I'm saying to you. If you appreciate me and the people that run this government, I want to challenge you to challenge the detractors of this interim government and this revolution today. I want to make a special appeal to you. I want to make a special appeal to you so that those that want to derail this government, those that want to derail this revolution can be brought to shame. I have promised you, I am back in here, I am not going anywhere, I will stand any fight that is as so far as the fight is against corruption and fraudulent practices and fraudulent people, I will stand it, but I want you to stand with me. ABC must not be shut down, because the plot is for ABC to be shut down. And then those who want to invest in SCBC will say, just let SCBC continue because we don't have so much money to go and pay and get ABC back. Ladies and gentlemen, if you believe in this cause, if you believe in this revolution, I want to challenge you. Let's get ABC to stand. And Bazunian donations must never, never, ever go to form any private business. Only a few weeks ago, this interim government refused to endorse uh, this cryptocurrency investment by some Ambazonians. They come to think about it. So Ambazonians want the same government to endorse SCBC, which is their investment, their enterprise, so that by the time we move to Boya, they take over their investment, their property, and say, you can go away. Ladies and gentlemen, ABC, ABC will not die. It will not go away. But I want to count on your support. I want to make an appeal to you right now. Please, please, would you consider today making a donation so we can take care of the bills, the outstanding bills of A, B, C. This is so dear to me because we must not allow detractors, business people who are within this regime, this government, to take advantage of our people. Please, I'm making an appeal to you. 
make a donation right now those of you will cash out make a donation right now let's upset the bills of abc and bring the shame to bear on those who hope that it is shut down the cash app number you want to use please is then now somebody get the number on your screen get the number on your screen the cash app number you want to get is 216-536-7128 again the number is 216-51 sorry 216-536-7128 and you can also use uh, the pound sign, the pound sign, amber, uh, sorry, the pound sign, uh, ABC amber. Again, the pound sign, ABC amber, to make a, what's, uh, a cash app donation. If you do not have a cash app, if you don't have cash app, please call me after this presentation. I will be willing to give you alternative means to make a payment for us to take care of the bees of SCBC. In fact, if you can't call me, you don't have my number, call that same number I have given you and those bees will be taken care of. Again, the phone number is 216-536-7128. Again, 216-536. 536-7128 and the short code is dollar sign not the pound sign I'm sorry not the pound sign but dollar sign ABC Amber dollar sign ABC Amber. I hope you've gotten that uh, information uh, right now please I'm pleading with you let's do it we cannot afford to see this revolution derailed by ill-intentioned people, by self-centered people. The war has just started. We will win. There is no option. We will win. Please do me a favor. Get to your cash app. Make that payment. Let's take care of your television. God bless you. God bless Ambazonia. Short live the struggle. Before I go, I will open the phone line. I will, if you have a question on the subject I have brought to you today, I will take it. The phone number is 603-682-2687. Again, that phone number is 603-682-2687. 2687. Call that number if you've got any question to ask. Uh, stemming from the presentation that I made today. I am waiting for your phone call. In the meantime, please, please show us your love. Make a one time donation and let us shame those who want ABC to go under so they can go fund their business. On the money of Ambazonians, call uh, get that uh, get that number, dollar sign A B C Amber, and do a donation through Cash App. And if you can't do a donation, if you don't have a, a, a Cash App, please go ahead and uh, uh, call me after or call that same number, and I will give you instructions on how you can make a payment. Let me take the first call coming in here. Hello, sir. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. Secretary. This is Ochiman Nelson from Los Angeles. Thank you for so, the calling, uh, sir. What's the question? Uh, mention about the bills for the ABC. Um, can we know exactly? Well, I lost that call. I lost that call. Uh, he is asking to know the exact amount for ABC bills. As I mentioned, ABC bills have not been paid for two months. And the bill is $8,300 for 
for the satellite. So we are on the two months. That is 16,600. 16,600. Let me take this call again. Hello, sir. Hello. This is the secretary, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm very happy that you came back from after resigning. I keep, I'm very happy with that. So I, want, I wanted to know because I, I don't have a, 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 a cash app that I can do a, a money gram transfer. I don't know whether you can give me a, 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 a let me say a bank account. A bank account. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have it uh, uh, handy here. If you can uh, send me uh, a text, I can send you, I can get that information once I get off the set and forward to you, sir. Hello? Hello, I think I missed that call. All right. Uh, again, you can do... Uh, you can do, uh, we can do PayPal, but I don't have that information handy. You can also do uh, a money order or bank check. If you can't do any of this, but you really want to donate, please call me after this presentation and I will give you directions how to do that. Again, we need to clear uh, the amount which is uh, 16,600, which is money for two months, two months of uh, ABC bills that uh, have not been paid. Hello, sir. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yes, sir, I can hear you. Go ahead, you're live. Yeah, can I speak to Secretary Chris, please? Yes, sir, you are, you are live, go ahead. Yes, I'm trying to find out, is it that uh, the finance secretary, is it that he's above the government because that is the people's money we are talking about and one person cannot be in control and don't want to give account of the people's money? All right, thank you. Thank you. I, I, will, answer, I will answer you off the air. Let me get this other call. I will combine. I will, I will answer your question. Thank you for calling, please. All right. Oh, I think the other call left. All right. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, the last caller was asking, is it that the finance secretary is uh, above control or why is it that he is uh, sitting on top of the country's uh, finances and records? The fact, the thing is simple. Uh, unfortunately, we are operating a government that really, you all know that we operate a government that really doesn't have the uh, some kind of authority power to discipline and so uh and that is the, the main reason why i had to bring this case out here to ambazonians ambazonians should call on the financial secretary of this interim government to submit to an audit you don't run a government for a whole year a full year and nobody and, and, and not allow anybody to audit you nobody knows how you manage the finances so ambazonians must go out ladies and gentlemen this interim government is not corrupt none of us handles money one person handles money and that person must be held to submit to an audit when the, the cabinet has demanded it six months ago today we have not seen it he has been asked to submit the banking reports uh, uh, records to a recent treasurer, treasurer general. That was position of treasurer general that was created. He has refused to hand over those records. Ethics committee has called him to investigate and to find out why he is sitting on the records. He has said that ethics committee is not part of the IG. So, Ambazonians, it is your case. But the big problem here is that those who are in jail are backing him and they just want, they, they just want to change the government, move on like they did with Skapak, and then they continue with the same circle of fraudulent activities. Hello, sir. Hello. 
Hello? Yes, so you are live. Yeah, Secretary, please, good day. Thank you, sir. Yeah, there is something I want to say. Anyway, my talk for Pigeon. All right. I did on ground here. Now, why don't we me a call? Because I don't hear you talk about SCBC and talk about ABT. Yes, That's sir. a very pertinent issue you have raised. The issue of SCBC, these days, we have noticed that SCBC, they are all here like. They get so focused that they do their advertisement. We don't know something like commercial TV these days, not really over be based on the struggle. So I don't know whether if merging it with ABC, it be right or it be wrong now now for internal government now and I get to decide. Secondly, I want to talk about the issue of the financial the financial sector, sorry, of the IG. We'll not get the financial sector for IG, even though the one pay deals for ABC and bad TV. Because say if he get orders from someone in jail, we still recognize Siseko as our president. We know that he is our president and we will respect him. And we are praying every day that he should be released. We will pray every day that he should be released. But as you don't rightly talk, you will not go listen as any person be for jail, need the same order for we for outside because we know how diabolic La Republic be. We know what they did do. That way, Bala be one go for La Republic, it be the top time. That way, Bala come back, it change. You see, I say Bala's baby on the one. So, the thing go, it's up to him for him to decide because we can't take orders from someone in jail. There's another people go jail, he, 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 he organize conference, he, he endorse and we don't know. If not by the effort of those in the interim government to keep the IG until today, sometimes the thing go not come out in each other IG. So, the idea is they go there for inside prison, they keep orders so we. We will not go by the idea. If it be said that direction, we take them. Then we, the people, will have to decide where we have to go. Because in other words, so we have noticed that there are some people who are so bent to see that the IG comes down. You know, we see people the way they come up with the IG, where they deny to be investigated. They be organize a, a conference, then they become for IG, the IG a, a endorse without the IG's content. Who is pay giving them a sponsoring? No man, no, no. We would we, we not we not be in for that one. We say no to that one. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I really talk about the field of ABC. I want to propose if you have the link because as you did talk now, so it's a very good talk. But after today, on next week, people then will use my award say you don't take money for ABC. If if it's a kind of project, would be create like a project or you put a go on me as you finish talk. Some person create go for me, put them. It be very transparent. I am I am ready to donate. So if we donate, we know after one week I can go into the system and check how much came and you have paid the deals. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I I appreciate your 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 contribution there. Uh, God bless you. And let me uh, make uh, some quick comments on the subject you made. Of course, you are hearing it. This guy is calling from uh, calling from Ground Zero. Uh, they are watching both ABC and uh, SCBC on Ground Zero. And what he is saying is that essentially, SCB, uh, SCBC is not for this revolution. And to think that we can take ABC and go and merge with SCBC, a private business entity, we will not do that. Because the one, one of the reasons we severe ties with SCBC was because we could not. They said the government owned it, but up to today, we have never known the real owners because it is covered up in some registration document. But finally, we know who are the investors in there. There are, there are some of them within this government and are trying to get ABC to die so they cannot say, like people in jail are saying, go and merge. Ladies and gentlemen, that will not happen. I invited, as a communication secretary, I invited the SCBC guys and said to them, ABC satellite is cheaper, is cheaper than that of SCBC. You do not expect that we'll come and submit ABC to you when your bees are higher. If you want us to work together, great idea. Come, we will give you part of our broadcast time. You can take it from midnight to maybe 6 p.m. in the evening and ABC can run the other part of the schedule. But we will divide the bills into two. SCBC denied, refused. All they want was let ABC come over, and then they pretended if ABC should come over, they would ABC would never have to pay any bills. If they cannot pay the bills now, 
how are they going to have ABC come over and they will pay the bills? No. What they want to do is play fast. The owners of that TV station are in South Africa and in this interim government and in jail. They are trying to build a business empire through the sweat of Ambazonians. I have said that is not going to happen. Hello? Hello, Secretary. Yes, sir. Uh, you are live, sir. Go ahead. Hello? Yes, Secretary Chris. Yes, there is something I want to say which I forgot to say. I just did some person comment say, make Sakosa uh, financial secretary put it on. I want to say that's not a very, that's not a good idea because what people don't notice that they, any person we don't be for inter interim government, once he come out, he is automatically being an enemy of the interim government. The person resigns from the interim government, it's a good thing, we are in a democracy, not in a Somali, in monarchs, we stay for the EU1. So if person re re resigns from, from IG, a good thing, he goes, the one person can't take him, then I say, allow away the person commenting me a Sako fact and financial sector put you on. We not buy the idea because when you do like that, those the, the, the gang in South Africa, that's what they will capitalize on that. Like I don't care which some people right and say uh, uh, absolute power corrupts absolutely. We know what that so any problem and no government not they problem in a republic they get their own problem. They have to fix it from within and all those in, within the interim government if they are true to the revolution and they think they are fighting for the liberation of the Southern Cameroonian people. They all them they stop this attitude and they start work because powers have been given to Sago. He was not appointed. They voted for him. And they have to they, they get really make it exercise the powers. And everybody has to submit under him. Because those who are fighting against Sago today, even if the, the people come tomorrow and make them whatever position, we the people will still have a thing. We can call for their refusal or All right, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I need to take some other calls. Thank you. I hope the people are hearing. Thank you. God bless. Hello, you are live. Who is this? Yes, uh, this is Reverend Array Ignatius from Dallas, Texas. Hello, Reverend. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, Mr. Chris Anno, I just want to thank you so much for the explanation. I think what we should be doing now is talking about money. I don't think we should worry ourselves trying to talk about the other uh, TV station because it's not going to help us in any way. Let us talk about raising funds to support ABC. We cannot, ABC cannot merge with anybody. That is not going to work. Let us do more of fundraising and get all other venues which we can send money. And in fact, Cash App is good, but we should also have an account. We should also have an address to send checks because people have various ways in sending money. That's what I think we should work on right now. We should even set up a GoFundMe page so that we have all those avenues where people can send money. The next time you are coming up online, it will be just on fundraising because there are many people who are ready to support to support this cause right right now. So thank you. Just a little... Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I think I lost you. Uh, I'm sure everybody heard that. What I'm going to do at the end of the broadcast, I will make sure on ABC Facebook page, we will put up some links on that page where if you want to make a donation, you can follow those links and be able to make uh, a donation. Hello? Hello? Hello, Sir Chris. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Yeah, can you hear me? I do hear you. Who is calling? Yeah, uh... Yes, go on, sir. And, uh, thank you for your... Hello? Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Please, you have to call on the regular line yes. because we are calling on WhatsApp. When the call on the regular line comes in, it cuts you off. Okay. Thank you. Okay, let me call it now. All right, thank you. So, please... Uh, I know there are some of you out there who can go out there and do fund drives for A, B, C. We will very much, very, very much appreciate, appreciate you. Let's save our revolution. Nobody else will do. Only us will do so. Hello? 
Hello? Hello? Hello? Yes, ma'am, I can hear you. Hi, good day, sir. Thank you. Yeah, this is Sheila calling. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to add my voice on the the Reverend we just called a race case in Texas. Yes. Yeah, like Riley said, we're not going to match if ABC used the one of SCBC. We don't recognize it. As far as they don't respect and recognize this IG, the people of Ambazonia who are willing to die with this IG, we are not going to stoot the ABC B law to marry it with the one of SCBC. Thank we you. don't know anything about SCBC or whatever they call it. We are going to be responsible for the views of ABC. Those are the B of the IG. Thank you. Take care of that. For SCBC, we don't want to we don't want to hear it pronounced again. This is on our SCBC because they are the challenge of the IG. The IG is here today and there is nothing anyone will do about that. That's Thank my you. own opinion. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Please, greatly people in your community, in your county, let's uh, save ABC. Thank you. God bless. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So please, whatever that you can do in your community, in your local government, to save ABC. In fact, some of you in your local government uh, or your counties, you can chip in something to A, B, C to save it. One of the things that we are trying to do is to get every every county and local government have a show in their own dialect on A, B, C. Let me take this other call. Hello? Hello, Mr. Chris, can you hear me now? I can hear you now, sir, very clearly. Good, perfect. So, uh, there's just two, two, two contributions that I want to make that is more important for us to understand. Like the first one is, I think we, we, we should understand why are we calling Dr. Sako acting president? Simply because our president, Sisiko, who is in jail, is inactive. And if Ambazonians are thinking that someone who is inactive should be protecting, it's absolutely not right. Now, you make one one uh, 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 point which I would disagree with you, with a clear reason. You said if Sisiko is out to be, the next day he can take over his power. To me, I don't look at it right, okay? If he's out to be, he will need to have at least six month transition period so that we can be able to walk him through do some handover and then observe the mind if he still has the mind of the school or he's having the mind in jail because it won't make sense that if for example they can still say okay go you don't see the city now so it is here again for you go outside go take that thing and then change the game so you know go help with so the thing says neither idea of it they come immediately let me show Haiti if you look at with with normal normal common sense, the group will use at least six months, we walk it through, observe the mind, observe the actions then, then I mean to even explain some things that really happen in it for no. When you just carry it, put it immediately, this year fifty four or the rest of it collapse. All right, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your point, sir. I really appreciate it. Uh that yeah. is your that is your opinion. It uh Ambazonians would have to decide yeah, and, and of course opinion. and of course uh, Sisiku himself would have to decide but I was saying that to say that uh, the day he comes out this is his government and I think he will be proud of what we behind here have done in his absence this is his government and nobody will stand on his way I just want our president to relax where uh, where he is and know that he should have no fear, not at all, that he will come out the day he comes out by God's grace, and this government will be waiting for him. Thank you for the call. If I missed your call, go ahead, call again, please. If I missed your call, go ahead and call, and please, please, if you have cash app, go ahead and make your donation. And again, we shall be putting a link on ABC uh, Facebook page so that you can go ahead and make a donation for ABC in your community, in your local government, in your county. Please, 
go ahead get some people together let's save abc let's make a donation and if god has blessed you out there and you can donate a substantial amount to cover the bees of abc we will deeply 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 appreciate it hello hello, hello this is combat hello combat good to hear your voice sir. go ahead and make your point yeah, um, Secretary Chris, I just want to, to be a little bit um, disgruntled because I don't I don't believe how a secretary can hold our government to ransom and we can only uh, get to be notified uh, after a month, after a year. Sorry, excuse me, excuse me. After a year, this is this is unbelievable. This is really unbelievable. And secondly. ABC is going nowhere. Ambazonians will fund ABC. Thank you. ABC is the government TV. We will do everything to pay ABC, the bills of ABC. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate your call. I appreciate your call. Uh, again, the question of a secretary holding the government uh, hostage. Uh, again, you understand the kind of government we have. We don't have a government with a police force. We don't have a government with uh, with an FBI, and so uh, and that is the reason I brought this out today to you, Ambazonians, because for six months your government has asked for an audit, an audit. I hear so many of you ask the question: What happened to my trip to Boya? What happened to this? What happened to that? Please, this government is not corrupt. I can assure you that. But an individual who is all the treasurer and the finance secretary and everything has failed to render accounts of this government. Hello, sir. Thanks for the call. Go ahead. Hello, Isaac. Hello. Hi, Chris. Hello, sir. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead and make your point. Uh, yeah, this is... Um Danny calling from the Denmark. Thank you, sir. I just want to add my voice to um, um, to, to Fombat. Okay. ABC is going nowhere. There Thank is you. no way CBC is joining with ABC. We would make sure that ABC stands. Thank you. Thank we you. We do not know the owners of CBC up to date. And there is no way ABC is going nowhere. Thank you for all your work. Thank you, sir. I appreciate okay. it. I appreciate it. Please rally people in your community, raise some money. Let's take care of ABC. God bless. I appreciate your call. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Please rally people in your community. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is Marlon Esseller calling from Germany. Thank you, sir. Uh, I would like to contribute. Yes, please. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, um, I'm, I'm, I'm calling from Germany. I'm just trying to uh, thank Chris Arlo for what he's actually doing. We have been crying all along uh, since he decided to resign. But now that he's come back on board, uh, we should support him as much as possible. Thank so you. We thank want you. to pay money. We want to pay money, but we don't know how to pay the money because ABC must stand. That's an Amazonian government TV. We have to support our ABC and we should everything possible to make sure that the number where to transfer the money is made available to everyone because all of us, 8 million people want to pay money, but we don't know how. Okay. Thank Please you. Please do everything to get the number on board so that we, can, we are all over the world. We want to, I want to pay $1,000 right now. I don't know how to do it. Thank yeah. you, sir. We will put, we will put, right away. thank you. That's we will put a link. We will put a link on ABC Facebook page right when I come off uh, this uh, telecast. Uh, everybody listening, please, uh, if, if you are anywhere you want to make a payment, there will be a link put on ABC Facebook page so that uh, you can go, you can use that link. To make a payment either through paypal through whatsapp or you can write a money order uh or you can do a bank transfer we'll get those details to you thank you sir god bless you appreciate that 
All right. Please uh, thank you again very much for your responses here. I am very encouraged. I am very, very, very encouraged. No one person, Sisiku said, can ever hold this revolution to ransom. And so, uh, Ambazonians will stand up. Ambazonians will stand up. Oh, actually, there's a PayPal link here. There is a PayPal link here. If you want to pay through PayPal, please use this PayPal email address. The email address is can you hold please? Can you hold please? Can you hold please? Yes. Hold please. The PayPal address, the PayPal address, if you can make a donation for ABC through PayPal, the PayPal address, the email address is Benji, then number four, freedom at gmail.com. Somebody get it on your screen, please. The PayPal address is Benji4 or Benji for Freedom. The number four. Benji for Freedom at gmail.com. Benji, the number four. Freedom at gmail.com. That is the uh, email address. If you want to make uh, a PayPal payment right now, please use that email address. For those of you calling from Europe, you can easily use that email address with PayPal to make a payment. Again, that uh, email one more time is Benji, B-E-N-J-I, number four, then freedom at gmail.com. Thank you. Thanks for calling, sir. What's your question or what's your comment? Yes, this is this Benalbe calling. This is who? Benalbe, Benalbe. Benalbe, thank you, sir. Go ahead. I am just trying to make a point here because the whole thing is quite very funny. When we at this point where we think we are able to be able to arouse the environment to stand for ourselves, something that is of no importance will crop up. People fighting to render activities that are of no importance. I think whatever we have to do. We have to keep in mind that there are people down there who are dying every day. Correct. And the, pro the, the prominent thing I think we were supposed to do is how to see how we can be able to fund the struggle for AK. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Yes, I think I get your point. Yes, I get your point. And that is our priority. That is our priority here to fund the AK program. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, propaganda, propaganda is a big front. It's a huge front for this struggle. You don't run a struggle. In the days of the Jonas Savimbi and uh, uh, John Garans of the world, where they had no TV, they used radios. And do you know that radio can be more expensive than TV? Satellite radio can be very, very expensive. So that great, we have TV in our time. We need propaganda. We need our message out. We need the world to not just hear, but to see what is happening in our territory. That is why television becomes really, really, really important. So please, let's form our ABC. And again, uh, you raised an important point. You said this is, some of these things are not really important. No, I think they are important because if Ambazonians do not know what is going on, they will keep on withdrawing their support from this interim government, thinking that somebody out here is eating and embezzling their money, whereas one person, backed by a little click, is about holding the, 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 the struggle hostage. So it is very important we bring this out and let Ambazonians know what is happening and fund their revolution. Thank you very much. Uh, Pastor Victor, go ahead and call, please. I saw you were trying to call. Go ahead and you call. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, again, the email address, if you want to make a PayPal payment, is Benji, the number four, freedom at gmail.com. 
Again, Benji4 Freedom at gmail.com. Uh, hello, thanks for calling. Hello. Hello, thanks for calling, man. Yes, can I talk to Secret Chris, please? You are speaking with, with, Secret, with Secret Chris, man. Okay. And you are alive. I hope you know that. Yes. Uh, please, I want to talk on ABC. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Okay. One, one, my one point is this. We are not going to let ABC die. Thank you. The, the second point is that what are we going to do with the financial secretary who is disturbing the uh, organization i will i will hope that the in the, the acting president will take some decisions he has to take it he has no choice as he will become an accomplice to what we are talking about here thank you okay thank My you point is this. okay we are going to talk to all the activists to make sure that uh, these funds should be immediately raised so that we pay the ABC and LCVC should be out of bounds. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you for thank you for the call. Appreciate that. Thank you. I want to thank you all for your calls. Thank you all for your calls. Thank you all for for your support and thank you for your patience and uh, in uh, waiting please together let us save our revolution uh let's take care of abc and uh continue with our crusade for one man one ak one fighter one ak every local government you must support your local government in fact one of the campaign to destabilize this government this interim government with some conference is to see that this idea of county by county dies because they want to come in and bring some so-called country coordinators into so-called parliament that doesn't exist and shift power away from you at a local level we cannot allow that to happen we are encouraging every local government every county you must put the right guns into the hands of your fighters it is all about you if your county if your local government is left out don't blame the interim government you blame yourself every one of us locate identify your local government and your county and be ready to put in your money without that without that i bet i bet you it may take us years years to win this war so please this is the moment, this is the moment for us to give our boys what exactly they need to effectively prosecute this war. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Secretary Chris, please? You are speaking with Secretary Chris, sir, and you are live. Is that Secretary Chris's number? Yes, sir, you are speaking with Secretary Chris, and you are live on television. And can you can you can you turn down the volume of your set in the background, please? Yes. Can you hear me? Yeah, there is still noise in the background. Turn down, turn down the volume. Can you hear me now, Secretary Chris? Yes, sir. Go on. Good evening, Secretary Chris. I'm so happy with the decision you've taken. I'm actually calling from London. I'm not going to hide my name. I've never ever spoken to Amazonia online. I have taken this risk to speak to you, even though I do go through rigorous vetting to get job live in the United Kingdom. I have put in my job on the line to call you because you are a very honest person. And I can say that I'm from Faco Division, no matter what happens, we are going to stand beside, beside you, foot and toe. Nobody will shake you because you're an honest person in your heart. I can see the genuity in you, not the fraudulent people. I'm not going to say what those people who are beside you are doing. I'm not going to go after it. But what I'm saying here is, we in FACO will not entertain that rubbish they're doing. Thank I am not wasting a body in FACO. I will not take that rubbish. I'm beside you. I'm beside that. 
Let their people know that I'm ready to drop in five hundred dollars. I will do my own means for it to get to you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that yes. so much. We yes. all have so to I'm save our let other people come in. But no, I my name is Sylvester. Thank you. Thank you. God bless yes. you. I appreciate it. I'm waiting for your yes. donation, please. Yeah, yes, thanks. You're Thank right. you. All right. So again, please the PayPal link for you, the PayPal email for your donation is Benji4 Freedom at gmail.com. Benji number four. Then they will then the word freedom at gmail.com. And you also have if you have cash app, you can use uh, the code the letter the letter the, i mean the, the 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 dollar the dollar sign and then a b c amber dollar sign a b c amber if you want to do it uh, do a donation through cash app please please uh let us let us take care this thing is about us i have said here in the past uh america is not going to give us money to take back our own country London is not going to give us money to take back our country. France, of course not. Uh, no country in the world, no individual, no Nigerian, no, no, no African, only us, Ambazonians, will take care of us because it is about us. We have to pay for it. And this is a very, very vital part or a very vital component of this revolution. So please, Use the email address Benji number four, then the word freedom at gmail.com. And you want to use Cash App, the code there is the dollar sign ABC Amber. Dollar sign ABC Amber. If you would want to make your payment uh, using Cash App. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Yeah, I want to ask you a question, man. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes, I can hear you. Go ahead, sir. Can I ask him a question? Yes, can sir. Go ahead. Receiving? Go on, please. What? I can. I'm hearing you. Go ahead and ask the question. Hello. 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 Hello? Yeah, I wanted to ask a question to Chris. Go ahead and ask your question, sir. You are live. Okay. Um, the, I want to find out about, uh, like, uh, what you, you think about um, the fact that some Cameroonians have to meet every now and then to prosecute the struggle to see how they can move forward. Uh, since the IG, the current IG, has never, has not been very um, friendly to groups that want to meet and organize themselves for the struggle. And each time they want to meet, they always question the purpose, the agenda, the reason. Uh, this to me looks as if they don't like the freedom to meet, the freedom to share ideas, the freedom okay hold on hold on hold on I, I like your question i like to answer it hold on uh let me explain to you this ig in no way in no way would want to stop any ambazonians from meeting and brainstorming on ideas that can promote this revolution absolutely not this conference from south africa that we are talking about in fact the ig has not said you cannot meet or you should not meet. The IG has said, we also had planned a conference that is supposed to take place either February, I mean either March or April. The only reason they have not gotten the appropriate date for that conference is because uh, local government and county coordinators, which is being still being created, uh, is still in the making. So the IG proposed to these other conference guys, if you don't mind, hold on. Let this other section of our government, the local government people, let them get constituted so we can hold one meeting. The IG said it doesn't make sense that Ground Zero will be going through pains 
grounds that we're going through mother and we shall and we would and we would be in the diaspora spending money on conferences and so the idea the suggestion was let's bring the meetings together do it sometime in april when all the local governments and counties would have been constituted but the owners of that uh, uh, conference said they must do it in february this month the 28th because according to them they are bringing in delegates from all over the world so my yes, brother okay so the, the oh, interim man. government is not is not denying is not stopping anybody from meeting right. so hold on let me finish explaining to you so the interim government said if you really don't want to wait you are free to go on and hold your conference thank you uh no uh, that, that that's a clear cut answer and it makes a lot of sense um we we uh, i just noticed and that it's a challenge because if the interim government cannot encourage uh because conferences can be held in europe in china everywhere around the world for uh for ambassadors to organize themselves but for for long every time they want to consider themselves there is always that question mark the ig has to endorse is it possible no no that no that is not that is uh, hold on hold on that that is not uh, that is hold on that hold on that that is not true the ig doesn't have to endorse a, a a conference that is organized by ambazonians in china or ambazonians in london or ambazonians right. in germany or ambazonians in the u.s in fact uh county 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 people and local government people have the right to organize their conferences i have attended conferences in europe I have attended conferences in Europe organized by Ambazonians. No, the IG has absolutely no problem. But there is a problem when the source, the originators of a conference are doubtful. For example, when you have a... The no, 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 not to cut it short, uh, with all due respect, my last, my last question to you is, is it possible for this IG not to to accept divergent views from different people that they don't agree with like to to discuss with respect to say you know what they because every time that is not that, talk, yeah no no that is not possible people, no that is not possible it's that is not to say somebody is not has no right or you are this kind of a person or because you don't support the ig and what my what I've noticed is that every time somebody comes up with an idea that maybe is different from what the IG has, and then they just tell that person maybe an agent. But the, for me, the way as a supporter of the IG, I feel that the IG is going to grow if we can support divergent ideas. Exactly, exactly. And again, that is what the IG has been promoting all this while. But when suspicious people come up with an idea that will deem it dangerous to the cause, for example, when you have the same people whom we have brought under interrogation, investigation for a narrow 12, when you have the same people coming up with a conference and they cannot tell us who is sponsoring that conference, who is sponsoring the conference? Let me break some news here. Let me break some news here from your question. What many people don't know. I got a, a, an intelligence with a recording with pictures two days, no, a day ago, of French Cameroon five military men dropping at the airport uh, through, I think, Wisconsin. And they, are, and they met this taxi driver who says he is Nigerian, whereas he is actually Cameroonian. And these five military men, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you facts here. They, they, these five military men as the taxi driver, uh, uh, where is, uh, he told them they are going to Pennsylvania, and he asked them, where, where are you going to in Pennsylvania? He said they are going for a conference. They are going for a Cameroon conference. Five military men i have the audio the hard facts i have even the photographs of those five military men because this man took their photographs and they said they were going for that conference 
After the conference is over, I will put that audio and the pictures out for you to see. We don't know. We cannot just endorse a conference. We don't know who is organizing it. That is what happened in Nera Hotel. We don't know who fund. We don't know who funded the conference or the meeting in Nera Hotel. But our leaders were picked up, and today they are behind bars. And so when somebody come with an idea, we want to know who is behind this. We have said to them, bring your agenda to the table. Let's mix our own agenda with it and have one meeting. What is so hard about that? Thank you for the call anyways. Let me take other calls, please. Thank you. Thank you. All right. In the next uh, one minute, I should, uh, I should uh, go away from here. Uh, I really want to thank all of you and please keep on, keep on, uh, keep on doing the donations, keep on doing the donations, keep on donating, keep on donating, keep on donating with your PayPal, with Cash App, and again, I will, uh, I will, uh, I will uh, try to make sure that we have, I will try to make sure that we have. Uh, I will try to make sure that we have uh, a link on ABC ABC website so that those of you who cannot donate using PayPal or uh, those of you who cannot donate using PayPal or Cash App can have an alternative means with which to donate. Please let us save our television. Hello, sir. Yes, hello. Yes, go ahead, sir. I, I saw your call. Go ahead and ask the question or make the point you oh, wanted to make. Okay, yeah. This is Pastor Victor in Houston. I was really not even going to ask the question. I was going to uh, give a contribution. Oh, and wow. I say that ABC will continue to, to stand, will continue to support ABC, and just make the available link for us, and will mobilize people to give. And also to say that um, the last caller was talking about uh, the IG not allowing uh, conferences to take place. I think that he needs, he needs to be made to understand that uh, we are not against any conference. Instead, it's the people of that conference forcing the ID to be part of it. So they cannot, you cannot agree a conference and you are imposing on the particular uh, on the government that they must be part of it when they are not when they, they don't feel the need to be part of it. So and the other thing I wanted to say is. Another uh, incident is still fresh in our mind. If our president and the team are talking from there, let them give us details of what happened. There's no reason really why that should be concealed. They should tell us what happened to them. So that some of these people that we see them as suspects, we can be able to understand exactly what happened there. There's no reason really why they're going to leave that out and then start speaking to us on other things. That is it. We should know why they are in, in that confinement in the Republic. Who, who betrayed them and all of that. They didn't tell all those stories. All right, thank, you, thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. I get your point. Let me take one last call and I'll close this show today. Thank you. Thank you, uh, man thank of God. You, thank you. Hello. Hello, Secretary Chris. Thank Hel you very much for your explanation. I'm coming calling all the way from Belgium. Thank you, My sir. Name is John Titanta. John Tata, thank you for calling. Go ahead, me your point. You are the last caller I'm taking. Yeah, uh, do you do you do you think it's it's better to continue uh, 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 sending money t t through through to the finance secretary of the interim government because some of us have got uh, money uh, money that has been transferred every month into the account of the interim government. If the secretary is on account, should we continue to send money through that channel? I will suggest. Uh, I am not the one to make uh, that decision, but I will say that everybody continue to make your contributions. I believe that the acting president and uh, the rest of cabinet uh, uh, are going to arrest this situation uh, with urgency. So until you hear any change or anything alternate, uh, please, please continue to make those donations uh, using the same means. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Again, I am with you. We will fight and prosecute this war all the way, all the way to the end. 
And in the words of Sisiko, no one man, no one man can bring down this revolution. God bless you all. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in.